Well, hi guys, uh, Hamad Benesha here for um, Undo.ca. Uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about a very common issue um, that happens to a lot of uh, MacBook Pros uh, from year 2011 to year 2015, uh, whether they are 15 inch or, or uh, 17 inch. It's a GPU problem. Uh, you probably heard about it. If you're watching this video, most likely you're, you probably have a GPU issue. Um, GPU problems could um, be um, lines on the screen, um, could be that uh, the, the machine uh, reboot, or it could be that you get stuck uh, at the gray screen. You, start, you know, the, the MacBook start to uh, to load, and then you get stuck at the, at the gray screen, or it could be a blue screen. So they are common uh, and different issues. Uh, but um, GPU problem, uh, it's very common on the 15 and 17 inch. Um, the GPU stands for graphic processing unit, so really it's a video card issue. And those MacBooks all have two uh, graphic cards, the one with the problems. Uh, they are, um, if they have a 2011, whether it's a 15 inch or 17 inch, the defective GPU is uh, uh, AMD. Uh, if you have a 2012, which is right now, uh, model A1398, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, um, it's probably Nvidia, but they all have uh, issues. Okay, now I'm gonna describe to you uh, what the problem is, and I'm gonna explain to you how we fix it, and this permanent fix. Uh, it's way, way, way cheaper than getting a new, uh, a new, a new board, a new MacBook. And uh, once it's fixed, it's a permanent fix. It, it won't happen again. Uh, I've done a lot of them last year, probably over 100, and uh, with a zero recall, the zero, prob zero, zero problem. Uh, clients are happy with the, with the fix. Um, I uh, always ask clients to give me feedbacks. Most of the clients are either uh, graphic designers, video, edi uh, video editors, so they use a lot of power, uh, you know, with the, w on their MacBooks. So that's all. That's why they all have a 15-inch MacBooks. So I always ask them for feedback, and so far nobody has uh, complained or, or or said that oh, it was you know the performance is decreased or anything like that. And uh, once we bypass the GPU, we modify the board. Uh, the Intel kicks in which is the second graphic processing unit. Uh, it's also the CPU, and then there is no more issues. So just to give you a rough idea what, what it is, so if you have, a, if you have um, an 11, uh, sorry, 2011, which is none right now, you have a board like this, okay? If it's a 15 inch, if it's seven, uh, 17 inch, it's slightly bigger, but it's exactly, almost exactly the same. Okay, so over here is the CPU, and this is the GPU. That's the one that's causing you the problem, okay? This is my uh, AMD. So now the GPU here needs to communicate to the other side of the board. Let me make sure. This is how it looks like when you actually remove it from your from, from your MacBook. Okay, this is the um, heatsink, uh, you know, um, for the heatsink over here. So once you remove it, the GPU is here and the CPU is here. Uh, and then the, the video memory is on the other side of the board. Okay, so let me grab this one over here. Again, it's a 2011 model. Okay, so the problem is with this over here, the GPU, okay? So often what people do, or computer stores, what they, what they would do, they would actually remove this card, put a new card, and it would work. But it only would work temporarily, probably for six months, and it would stop again. Okay, why is that? It would stop again because very often, once you replace the card, okay, the card is brand new, it should last five years. But it, it does happen because the video card has to communicate with the video memory, which is located on the other side of the board. Okay, so in this case, you see I removed the video three video mem memory just to show you. Okay, so every thing that you see over here, every dot is actually a trace, like a wire that needs com to, to communicate to the other side of the board, to the to the, the GPU, to the graphic processing unit. Because you know, sometimes the video memory would go bad. Or sometimes one of the tra traces st st start to crack, and you could not, it cannot communicate through the PCP over here, and it cannot communicate properly to the to the GPU. Okay, so the thing, uh, the, the things that happen when you replace the video card, and um, it start working again, is that sometime often, very often, the problem was not actually with the video card, but it was with um, with the traces that get reheated because the heat is so high. And then you start, you know, to melt and, and, and attach to each other again. But after a while, the crack happen again, and then you run to exact same problem again, which is, you know, you get lines on the screen. You get, you know, um, the, the MacBook doesn't fully load when the, when the bar load the operating system. It doesn't go all the way, and then you get stuck on a gray screen, and that's the problem. Okay. 
Now, how do we fix it here? It's fairly simple. We, we modify the board a little bit to enable the second graphic processing unit here, which is the CPU, GPU, to work. Okay, this is Intel. And uh, based on my experience, I've been doing that for over, fixing computers for over 21 years, and I've never ever re replaced an Intel chip yet. Okay, pretty very reliable. I used to be on the on the networking business, you know, uh, building servers from scratch, building you know very powerful uh, servers, and we try to push it to the limit, and the Intel chip never fails. So once this is enabled and it becomes a video card, most likely it will never fail again. Okay. So now, how do we do that? Okay. So first of all. We just um, modify the the BIOS, okay? We, we take off the BIOS the, and we modify the EFI a little bit, okay? We just reprogram it and said, moving forward, don't go here, okay? Go straight over here, okay? So now the, the second things that we need to do is that we need on the other side of the board, it's where the video memory gets the power, okay? So GP, it's the, the GPU controller. We need to kill the power there so, so this video card doesn't get any power anymore, okay? And, uh, and the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to um, modify the backlight circuit over here a little bit. Otherwise, when you close the lead, the, the, the MacBook will not, uh, will, will, will not um, wake up again. So once we do all the, the three modifications on the board, especially the EFI, okay, which is a bit complicated, especially if you have a 2012, 2013, 2014 model, okay, the EFI is slightly hard to modify. Because there is, um, you know, um, there's, a, there's the ID uh, on the BIOS that needs to be backed up first, and then you need, need to be reprogrammed. So we've done we've done it on the 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015 with with success. There's absolutely no problem. So if you have a Retina 15 inch with a GPU problem, we can fix it. Okay, now, having said all of that, there's three minor issues. If you want to do that, okay, they are they all have work around them. Okay, they're not really considered. Uh, issues for, for most people that's why we do, we do so many of them um, the first one is um, if you if you plug in your your monitor to an external uh, your uh, sorry your MacBook to an external monitor using the Thunderbolt here okay the Thunderbolt is connected straight to the to the GPU to the main GPU so it will be looking for the old GPU okay it won't find it so you cannot connect an external monitor but there is a device you can buy on Amazon for forty dollars so I think it's forty or fifty dollars uh, it's a USB converter, and you can use use, use a USB port to connect to um, to uh, to the external monitor. Or if you have a smart TV or smart monitor, you can use AirPlay, and it works just fine. So that's not an issue for most people. The second one is that if you use Bootcamp, um, it doesn't work either because the Bootcamp will will try to boot directly from the using the GPU over here, the defective GPU. So it doesn't work. Okay, there is a workaround there. Uh, parallel desktop, which is fine. So if you need to use Windows on a MacBook, you can use Parallel Desktop and program result. Now, if you don't know what Bootcamp is, Bootcamp is, um, is a program that allow you to run uh, Microsoft uh, Windows on, on the Mac, on, on the MacBook, and boot directly to, to, to Microsoft operating system. Um, if you don't use Microsoft operating system, it's not an issue for you. And again, if, if it is an issue for you, you can use another software called Parallel Desktop, and that will let you run uh, Microsoft um, uh, Windows operating system on the MacBook. Finally, if you use, um, if you have an operating system, uh, High Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, or higher, uh, there is a problem with the, with the, with the, with the um, backlight, sorry, with the, um, what is it called, the, um, the brightness keys on the keyboard, the two brightness keys on the keyboard won't work anymore because the drivers uh, are not really compatible with the Intel, so the two keys won't work. But there is an application you can download called uh, Brightness Slider, and then uh, it works just fine. It's like on the volume, when you can adjust the volume up and down, you can also adjust the, the brightness up and down. And then you can download that from the, um, from the, app, from the app store. Um, and we'll, we'll download it for you, we'll install it for you. So other than that, like I said, there is no other issues. Uh, nobody complained and everybody's happy with the, with the repair. And it's obviously so much cheaper than getting a new one. So if you need help with that, um, please feel free to click on uh, on the quote. Okay, uh, get a quote. Uh, we'll send you a quote right away. And then there is uh, when you, when you receive the quote, there is a, it's an email, and there is a, there is an option there, and a, not an option, the link where it says click to proceed. So if you if you want to proceed with the repair, it's fairly simple. Uh, you click on proceed, and then that would direct you to you know to get a to get a free a prepaid label. This uh, repair, no matter where you are in Canada, qualify for a free shipping. So. 
Yeah, so if you have any question, uh, you can send us an email. But again, if you want to proceed, just click, click on quote, uh, and then we go from there. And then uh, once, we, once we receive the MacBook, uh, usually it's fixed within uh, the, the same day or the next day. If you are in Toronto and you want to have it fixed, we can do it the same day, it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, if you have any question, give us a call. Uh, otherwise, please click on quote, it would be way faster. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.